Hello, you beautiful people and peoples, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, and welcome back to Let's Play Call of Cthulhu, and I'm sorry, I'm crazy today. We start by talking to this nurse receptionist. Dr. Colden. Yeah, hello. At least she recognized us, right? Sorry, but nobody can take anything until I finish the inventory. Okay, um, totally fine with me. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Thank you. Um... I'll be going. This man, Edward Pierce. His file is incomplete. What did Fuller do to him? The file is strangely incomplete and the detail on treatment is not given. It does not respect standard practice. In theory, this is where we hang the key to the boiler room. Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. The operating room is never accessible after an operation. Let's hope I can go through the administration office. Nope. Ah, yeah, we can already open up the door but we need to distract the lady by something cool and yes here we found yeah that's where the pipe goes the doses prescribed by fuller are far too high a prescription for bab barbiturary signed by dr fuller we're running out of this medicine I know, Doctor. We sent the purchase order, though, but Mrs. Donovan refused it. Once again. Can't you do anything? Donovan takes her instructions directly from Dr. Fuller. I'm afraid I can do nothing about it for the moment. That's too bad. This pseudo-scientific work by Cesare Lombroso correlates on individuals' poor morphology with his criminal predispositions, the seriousness of this study and the occurrence of the demonstration can deceive an uninformed reader. We've been waiting to be restocked for weeks. Well, that's a little bit sus, right? I can't I shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. I would be as weak as her, actually. Okay, we need a bloody tool. Where do we find... There are tools, right? I assume that we are not gonna find any tools in administration. The broom is not gonna help out. At all. I didn't make this up. And I'm the one who pays. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No need of telling it all the time. Everybody says it. She's a witch, an old hag. I didn't make this up. And I don't assume that we are gonna find a tool. Just sleep a bit more. Yeah, why did I even ask ask him again, right? For a second I was hoping for the tool, I admit that. A tool. The right tool. Oh wait, now she's gone, but not there's not Okay, I'm not going. I'm. Ah, oh, hello. Obtained. So back to the boiler room. And then we can 
not finalized, but if I'm actually able to find the boiler room again, where, yeah, there we are, right? I feel guilty about Elizabeth, but I need the diversion. So, she's still doing her stuff. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Yeah, whatever, I wanted to. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. I'm sorry, lady. Good lady, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm, I, I, I am really sorry. But, maybe as a lame excuse, it's for the greater good, right? Mrs. Donovan? I'm busy. Elizabeth, isn't it? Yes, ma'am. But it's about the water. What now? It's off. It's not my fault. Nothing is ever your fault. I told you to control the flow. Even if I know it's not your strong point. I've apologized a thousand times. I haven't counted that many. But then, unlike you, I don't have time to keep track. Please, Mrs. Donovan. I'm grateful to you for having kept me on despite that incident. I just need the water to be put back on. Otherwise, the bathroom will quickly become a nest of germs. Oh, very well. I'll finish what I'm doing, and then I'll fix your blunders once more. Thank you, ma'am. Out of my sight. Go chatter with your colleagues. That's what you do best. What a witch. But that does actually that means we can actually go... At last. The missing files must be hidden here. Here, right? The Stendhal Syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. A study of the Stendhal Syndrome, a particularly rare mental illness, suspects display mental disorders like linked to an exposure of works of art. Could that be really related to... I should go another way. Yeah, sorry. Could that be... Why have I... Why do I want to open up them doors? Could that be related to the art collector? Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Yeah, and I guess... I've unlocked something. Patient Hello. files. I was right. This cylinder was hidden inside Fuller's office. He recorded his thoughts about one of the many psychoanalysis sessions he submitted Sarah Hawkins to. Anything else? I mean, yeah, we did, I think, the only thing we can do right now. Conclusions. Session number 17. Patient? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls the mythos. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the price that comes with her exceptional gifts. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a the file we need to analyze. Why does Dr. Fuller write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? At first, I presume 
presumed that her blood was the key. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. What do we have here? The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then James came. I read that Charles was keeping secrets from him. I presume that he will try to break into the basement sooner or later. I am prepared. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. What is the connection between these three? It's fortunate that I had the presence of mind to set the mall in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her belongings. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. A partly burnt shoe. It seems like it belonged to Sarah Hawkins. Okay, let's leave. Well, maybe fully leave, right? I must go back to the basement. Okay, but we are gonna go to the basement in the next episode. You wonderful Guys, for now you know it, I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a wonderful day. Stay frosty. Bye.